email, but then one is most of the time concentrated. The reason why? Because I sanitize customers' feet in, I put it in the water, in the spa, and then you, you put their feet in there for a couple minutes. So that's why it's going to sanitize and it's going to take the smell and it's going to take the germ, it's going to take whatever is on there off. And then after that, you remove the polish. You know, out there in the nail salon, most of the time what they do, customer come in, sit down, you remove your polish. Please don't do that. No. You try to collect all the germ and put it on your hand. Okay, when you're doing pedicure, you can um, you can use glove if you want to, and then when you start to doing cuticle, then you can take the glove off, so that's why it's easy for you to hold and, and do your um, um, cuticle. But, um, okay, now we're going to start all over again. Let's everybody put it up here, right in front of you, and then... Um, First, when we doing manicure, what do we do first? Sanitize. Okay, sanitize your hand. It means you can use your gel hand sanitizer or you can use what? Antiseptic. But hand sanitize is, you know, most of the time customer knowing that. This you always mix with water. And this, remember yesterday I told you that this is something that you can work with the skin. It can be on skin or it can clean. When you go to state board, this is what you have to use to clean around the cuticle and underneath the nail. So it's mean. It's safe for your skin. Okay? Okay, we have to have that. Where is it? Antiseptic, ha ha ha. Where? What? Antiseptic? Yeah. We don't have that no, we haven't yet because we wrote it down yesterday and today I'm going to go again. Uh, I have to go and get it for everybody. Antiseptic. Make it with the water. You have a big bottle of that? Yeah. Okay, first we're going to need antiseptic. Write it down, please. You need your antiseptic. Your customer gonna love you when they see you sanitize your hand and sanitize their feet. Or you can do this antiseptic. You can uh, put one concentrate and one in a spray bottle. So you can spray into a little piece of cotton when you're working on a customer's hand. Or you can spray on the hand or spray on the foot. But you have to be loose to that. Don't, don't have it concentrate. So you do need one concentrate bottle and one spray bottle. I guarantee they are gonna tip you good. It's just what customer they satisfy with what you do, but sanitation. They love this when they know you do. Okay. Okay. How much quantity of the antiseptic and water? We can mix this One concentrate is all concentrate. But most of the time when you mix one to um, two part of uh, water, one part of antiseptic okay. to, to, to spray. Okay. okay. We loose it out. But concentrate, you put it in the spa. In the water. In the water. Okay. So that's why we can remove some of that smell and, and uh, germ, bacteria. Because you don't want to go ahead and you know do the customer feet when um, I mean so 
a lot of customers in the summer, they wear their, um, what, not shoes, slipper, or sandal, or whatever, but still, you know, um, their feet is wet and they're walking around, all bacteria, dirt, and everything. So you want to remove and, and clean um, before you have your hand on it. So that's way you don't spread it out. Okay. So anybody need it? I have it here available. Okay. Um, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna need what for um, this today. We we're gonna go complete with our manicure setting. Okay. So what's next? What do we do next? Remove nail polish. Acetone. acetone polish remover. Okay, let me tell you different from acetone and from polish remover. This is acetone, yeah. right? And this is polish remover. Yes. Okay, when you see the color, any color like like uh, pink color, blue color, green color, anything that have color is very, very light. It's not going to be strong enough. Uh, like acetone, when you do in French manicure, you need to to do a drawing on mm -hmm. the French manicure. Mm -hmm. You need to remove with this acrylic. You need to remove with acetone. Um, fake nail, acrylic nail, um, gel nail. You need to remove with this because this is not strong enough. This you can remove with natural nail, but not. It's not. It's not that strong. It won't dry uh, customer's cuticle. Won't dry your hand. This will dry a little bit, but this is work much better. So acetone is much more better than acetone polish. is actually because when you're doing nail, you want something to be strong enough. Mm -hmm. So that's where you can remove your French real good, or you put it on and and remove um, polish quick. So this is better, especially for pedicure. So it's going to be like a more uh, better than, so we don't need it anymore. That's a nail polish Well, remover. this one actually, this one, it's going to take a long time to remove. Remove, polish. okay. That's what we want so to know. So this is something that you wouldn't want to, okay. to So just keep it as a tool. I mean, this is for home use. It's not yeah. professional use. Yeah. When you go out there in the nail mm. salon, this is all they use. This is all they use. It means you have to know how to use it. Mm -hmm. But this is, this is strong enough that um, you can um, soak your acrylic nail, both of you are right, your acrylic nail and your uh, tip, this will melt that off. Okay. If you put it in there for 20 minutes and remember, every time you do that, you cover, have a towel cover, so that's why you don't breathe that acetone smell. Okay. Okay. What else do we need besides acetone? Okay. Wow. Cuticle remover, softener. Cotton. Cotton. Yes. Where is your cotton? Yes. <laughs> okay. You got cotton. Where's your? No, she's Russian. <laughs> It's in the car. Okay. <laughs> when you have your customer, you have everything ready. No car. Can you wait? You're going to the store. Yeah, I'm going to bring Have a car. Okay. After this, I'm going to give you 10 minutes to get your car ready because you guys have to work with each other. Okay. Okay. Right now, car. 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 Okay. Decide car. What else? What else do we need? Q-tip. Uh, Q-tips. A pusher. A Parlor. Pusher and parlor and all this. Uh, you can push the cuticle with this, or you can clean the nail with this. Push the cuticle. This. You can wow. found or clean underneath. This. 
Most of the time, uh, I think more they want you to use this, but this is it's so fine, it's so hard uh, to to work with. And this one is look really Good. big, but it's not two sides. One side is really coarse, and one side is very fine. So when you buying it, you buying the one that have one side coarse and one side uh, fine. So that's why the course you can use acrylic if you do need it, but on your nail you can use the fine sign. Okay. This. So you get it? Mm-hmm. Where? Yeah. In the car. <laughs> she gets it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a step in the car. <laughs> Did she have it? She's ready. Uh -huh, it's beer. La la beer. So you got it, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I believe that in your kit, you have, have some this. of it. You have, you probably have this one, you yeah. have this one, and you have this one. The, the only thing you need is this one. Yes, mm -hmm. you get it. You have it. You want to say, you come in, I need a car. You do a ski hat, you know? You have to do a car and go to the other. Okay. Yeah, I think it's very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Let's see, what nail do you need? Okay. After we found the nail, what do we need? Take off something. What? Tell me what you need. Let me go home and get my stuff. <laughs> You need your manicure bowl yeah. or um, a spa for your pedicure. Of course, here we have spa for pedicure. Um, you know what? You can buy the the 14 gallon uh, trash bag, mm -hmm. like a big trash mm -hmm. bag. Cover that spa and put water in there, so that's way. Each customer, you can, can dump it out and then take the uh, the trash bag. Throw it out. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Out on the spa, they have the liner that you put in and, and do the same thing. But I mean, here in school, we don't have that. And if you want your customer to be happy, or even you you want to learn how to um, taking care of you know your customer and yourself. So that's what we have to do. Okay. So you just buy a, a um, dress bag. You're going to go home and your husband, your children, your son, your daughter, you go to school with a trash bag. <laughs> bag. What do you do with trash bag? Just like when I come in here, I, I take in my paper towel with me and my, my 21 uh, years old daughter say, Mom, you go teaching. Well, you take paper towel with you. Well, okay, sometimes we need it. So, I mean, whatever we need, we need it. Okay, besides this, what else do we need now? Cuticle remover. Cuticle remover or cuticle softener. And what do you do? You can put it on each nail, straight on each nail. Cuticle removal. When you put this on, after this, that means you're going to push back the cuticle, the skin. And then you're going to use what? Again, you're going to use this. We push her. on to remove and then trim. Okay. After you're done with that, then again clean. Clean the top. Clean the bottom. Real good. So.
Let me go back on your cuticle trim. What do you need? Cuticle nipple. You have it? Yes. Can you cut with it? <laughs> Oh, I believe that I asked you guys to bring me some check of that uh, lemon. Remember anybody bring it? No. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it dropped it on the way you got here. <laughs> What happened? Sitting, the lemons are sitting in my um, kitchen, and my husband asked me in the morning, "Why the hell you have so many?" <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, let me tell you later on. Just let me finish what I'm doing." <laughs> there were so many lemons sitting. Well, you tell I just him. remember. You tell him. <laughs> That's none of your business. No. <laughs> That's a good said, I never saw you buying that many lemons. What happened? Why why if we have so many lemons in the house? Okay. So, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, for, for the practice. Okay, in my country, they don't have the cuticle softener. What do they do? They soak the hand into the water and then they get that lemon. They they cut that lemon out and they put, put it on the there. Yeah. And that uh, lemon juice is kind of softening it up and then it's, it's, it's like a, you know, it's maybe take off some of it. It's, I don't know, that access is, is really something. Good. So they trim the cuticle and then they clean again. They don't have this. Mm -hmm. So how do they clean with it? Lemon. Lemon. Lemon can have an acid, so that's yeah. why. Okay, so now we have the um, the nipper, cuticle nipper, right? Mm -hmm. So what do we need after that? If we need to clean our nipper, alcohol. Alcohol, you need alcohol to clean it right away, to put it away, okay? Right away. And then set aside. Or... If you cut somebody's hand bleeding, then what did you do? You need to have a little, little um, container, a little container, container like this. So that's way you can put your um, what? No, 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 no. APA. APA. Hospital-grade solution is like a barbicide. It's in there. You suck that tip to about right there. Okay, EPA. EPA? Yes. Disinfection solution. You need this. You need it all the time with your uh, manicure kit. All the time. So it means you will have two yards, two of this jar right here, two. One, you can put alcohol in here with a little a cotton right here. You put all your tools in like this. When you start your customer, it means you're preparing for your customer. You do it like this. And then another one, you put it on the side with the, the lid on, the top on. So that's where in case you need it, you can clean again after you use this and then put it in this. When you get done, you go soap and water, rinse again, and clean. Okay? So what do we need? I'm going to continue to put it on like this. So you can go get two containers like this. Just the small mm -hmm. one two. like this is okay with the top. When you when you start using it, take the top off. But when you don't, you're done, you top close the, it up. Uh -huh. Clean and close it up. Does it matter it's going to be a plastic or like a um, glass or whatever? It doesn't, okay. Okay. Axitone you do, but not with this um, product. This product can take um, plastic. Plastic, okay. But acetone, 
acetone it have to be in a special plastic mm -hmm. or it have to be in a container your container or something or you have to use almost half of this a day and most of the time acetone if you leave it out for a long time even you have it in this bottle you don't tie it up you leave it out for a long time it doesn't work as well okay Okay, so every time you use it, remember to close it up. Okay, what else? What else do we need after this? Massage cream. Massage oil? <laughs> or something? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm doing this. It doesn't mean I need something, okay? <laughs> You're supposed to know. Don't look at me. Okay? I'm doing this. doesn't mean anything. Well, I'm going like this. doesn't mean I'm agree. I'm thinking about it. I'm doing this because I say, come on, let's see if they know. Yeah. Okay. Wow. After you do the cuticle, mm -hmm. then you're gonna massage. This cuticle, um, this right here, I will tell you later about it. But right now, what did you do? You done, you clean and everything. What do you massage, have to do? Massage, yeah. massage cream. Massage cream. Mm -hmm. Well, any type of um, lotion. It's okay. Some of it call oil. Um, massage oil. Yeah, yeah, massage oil. And um, this lotion right here is it's cold lotion, just or regular temperature. But we have, but we have warmer lotion too. Warmer lotion is mean. You can. Um, you can buy it in, in a pot, you plug it in, and you put a little uh, paper cup in there, put some lotion in there, and that warmer will warm that lotion up. And so that's why the cuticle really dry is absorb that uh, oil, okay? So most of the time, there's two different ways. If we doing this lotion, it means whatever we've been going through this morning, we already do that. And then um, go with your lotion and massage. But if we doing hot oil, one more lotion, it means you do your fouling, and then rather you put the uh, hand in, in this little tub right here, in the manicure bowl, you don't do this. You put it in the... Uh, the lotion, the, the, the oil, okay? So after that, you take it out, you massage, and then you clean, and then you start with your cuticle removal. That means you do it opposite. There's two ways to doing it. So today, we only doing what we're doing right here, but then maybe next few weeks, we're gonna go back and do the, the hot oil, okay? So, so that's way, when you go out there, customers say, I want to, you know, in the winter, they say, I want a hot oil manicure. And it's like $10 more. Why not? It's good for their cuticle. It's good for their hand. It's good for your hand. And it's good money. So, okay. That means we have to learn how to do it. Okay, after lotion, what do we do? I believe everybody already learned how to do hand massage. Well, then she will teach you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After you're done with your massage, what did you do? Clean the nail. Clean. You clean the nail. You clean the nail with antiseptic. The antiseptic is already diluted it out. Don't use the concentrate. The concentrate, most of the time, I put it in the tuft. But if you put stray concentrate on the nail, it will stain the cuticle. So that's why we have to dilute it out. We have to put it in water. One part to two parts of water. 
or maybe one part to three part of water. Okay. Clean the cuticle around the cuticle and clean under the nail real good. And then you can use two different types, alcohol or acetone or even alcohol or uh, polish remove to clean the top of the nail before you put polish on. Why? Did anybody have alcohol? If we don't have alcohol, we need to get alcohol. Okay. Everybody need alcohol. Okay. So, um, the reason why I have students say, why do I have to put acetone on the nail, right? Common sense. Okay, when you're doing massage, the oil is staying on top of the nail. And when you put your base on, it's not going to stay. Or it takes a whole day to dry her nail. So please don't do that. You need to clean all that oil off. You clean it off. You can feel it. Or just clean it. So that's why when you put your product on, you put your base on, your polish, and your top coat on, those stay. Stay on the nail. Okay, so what do we need? We need a base. We need <coughs> polish. Top coat. And um, I want to see, you know, everybody doing a practice on red color. Any any color, dark color, how to uh, apply your polish. Okay, the when you put the base on all over, from your little finger to your thumb, from little finger to your thumb, always start with customer's left hand. Always with customer's left hand, with that little finger. Okay, so even when you massage, polish remove, file the nail, fix the nail, put on the nail, I don't care what you do, start with your little finger. Your foot's the same way. Your pedicure, the little one, the little toe, and then go on with the big one. So you put that into a routine, it's mean you will know everything, you will done everything right, just correct way. Okay? And the polish, when you put it on, the base coat, you don't have to put a lot of base coat on. You just put it on, just put it on there. Just enough, not too much. Don't overdo it. One coat of base coat, um, base coat and then the uh, polish. The polish all way too coat. But the first coat you put it on, as, as thin as you can get it on there. Don't slap the whole thing on. Oh, make the colors real pretty. Just put it on enough, a thin coat. And then the second coat, that's when you put enough color. Not too much, but just enough, not too thin. And then top coat. So you're going to need three bottles, base coat, color, and top coat. Mm -hmm. I oh. go for the best coat, just best coat and top coat is together. I see every brand, like I said, makes it. Okay, top coat is give you the shine and it dry faster. <laughs> base coat, it doesn't give you the shine. It's, it's like a um, protect. Your is moisture and it's protect and it's have some product have little protein, it have vitamin. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the product how expensive it is too. Right. Is it ten dollars with the one bottle and like the same with the one? I buy I buy one um one bottle about this big, uh -huh. um, top coat, mm -hmm. and that's that's like a fat dry top coat. Right. It's like twenty dollars mm -hmm. for just this little Sell bottle. Big one. Yes. So it means when you're buying one little bottle like that, it, they charge you like $2 or $3. That, that's regular. But it's good for the nail. It's going a long way. The only way, the only thing that you can keep it safe is to tie it up. Okay? Sometimes you put it in there and you just like that. 
you loose it and, and it dry up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, okay, your nail polish. Most of the time, I don't put anything uh, into the base coat or I loose it out to make a top coat because when you put that in there, the top coat is going to be dull looking. It's not going to shine. It gives you shine. No shine. No. So um, the thinner only use it when the polish is dry. And you use, every time you use, you use about five or six blocks of that. So don't put your acetone into your polish. You're going to dry out your polish. Okay? Okay, I know that she has a brush right here. You have, everybody have mm -hmm. a brush like right. this. Mm -hmm. Okay, in manicure, before, 30 years ago, yes, we do use this. Like after um, uh, we do the cuticle and we put our hand into the water and then we, we'll brush it off. We don't have to use antiseptic. antiseptic okay. But now we don't do this to this brush. Even state ball when you do manicure, my manicure girl go past their test. Every one of them don't have this. I don't let them use this. They don't use it anymore. But on your pedicure, you do need it. So you need to go in there to clean their clothes. So you're going to need it. This is for the buffing cream. Buffing. That's the buffing. We will talk into the buffing later. Okay, remember this is hand sanitizer right here. If you, um, if you have this, your customer sit down, you go, you know, on their hand and then on your hand and you know, you do this. They really like it. So, uh, please get one of that. Okay? It's like a Okay. If your kid, I, I believe that you have this. But I, I believe that you don't have the product to go with this. Okay. This one, anybody know, is used on who? Most men. Okay, on men. The men, they don't... They don't um, use their um, polish. They don't polish their nail, so they gonna they want it to to shine. And, and if shine. you put a top coat on them, it look right. It doesn't look right. Mm -mm. No, it doesn't. This is the one. So we're using this cream. cream. It's called buffing cream, cream. and mm -hmm. it gives you a beautiful shine. shine. It gives you a beautiful shine to it. Yeah. But you have to know, okay? It's me. When you're done with their, um, everything's done before you let him go, it's me. You have to buff. You use two different buffs. You can use this buff right here to buff the top of the nail. And then. You put use your this. buffing cream on, and that's when you're using your buff right here. And this is how you hold your buff. This is how you're holding it. You buff it sideways like that, and then down. At the tip, down. On top, shut sideways. Don't do one, two, three, one, two. No. And don't do pressure, because when you press on his nail, what happened? It's warm up the nail bed, the heat, that body heat, and this heat will burn the, the uh, fingernail too. Can burn the fingernail. So just do it slowly and do it, you know, not not too much pressure on it. And then you clean how you do that. After you buff with this, that's when you're using this. You put your cuticle oils on, on all of the nail, and you rub, you rub into it. Then they can go wash their hands, and the shine is there. It's done. Okay? Uh, on pedicure, we're using this, too. On um, manicure, we do use it, too. On manicure, what you can do is, after you get done with all massage, everything, uh, I see some of, you know, the nail techs, 
do the same thing. They they buff a little bit, a uh, little bit with this buff right here. The reason why, because when people that uh, polish their nail, they always stain. They have a little color, a little stain of pink or yellow looking. So you want to get rid of that yellow looking. You buff, but after you doing your massage, you buff, and then. You put your cuticle oil on your rub and they go wash their hands. They go wash with the brush. That's when they using that brush. So it means you don't want to use it at your station. They use it back there when they wash their hand, they wash everything off. In a, a high-end salon, nail salon, what they do is at the station of, of each girl, you know, they can have little, that little box they can uh, get it from the back, and in that box have what? You have a towel like this. Have a wet towel. The customer don't have to move anywhere. Take it out from that that box or that little bag. It's warm towel, and you clean each finger of your customer. It still have to be at you know a special salon that that they do that. So the customer don't have to get up and, and go and wash the hand. Okay. Okay, on a guy, on a man, that's it. Now, $20, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. One more thing. Okay, on a manicure or a pedicure, on a customer, this is very important. Very, very important. Okay. Before you polish, when they wash their, ha their hand or after you do this, make sure, please, can you give me a check or can you please go ahead and, you know, right. write it. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, after you put your polish on, they put their hand in the purse. What's... No happen? good, yes. They mess it up. It's your time that you're taking time to remove that and do it again. And you're killing your time right there. Time is running. So before the putting the coat, just write it down. Before you do your base, you make them pay. And it's an easy way to do it is you take your ticket out right in front when they when they sit down. And you put down your whatever the price is. Say it will be five dollar please, or it will be fifteen dollars, will be twenty five dollars. And that's it. All you need to do is just give them that bill, that little ticket, and say that. And see, automatic, take your money out and pay you. You don't have to say, can you pay me now? <laughs> you don't do that. I go into a lot of salon and look. Can you pay me now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. So you think if I give you 10 minutes, you can get everything gathered together, and then we can do manicure? Well, after lunch? Or after okay, lunch. Do it. After lunch? Oh, I forgot. I need lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. So everybody have everything together?